Hello, I'm Philippe Mosley from the European Commission's Directorate General for Industry, DG Grow. Uh, we know Europe's buildings waste a lot of energy. In fact, uh, they consume around 40% of the total. And the way to improve this is first through energy efficiency by insulating buildings, and second by decarbonizing the energy sources uh, by installing renewable energy. Uh, but we can't do either of these things without the construction industry. Uh, the renovation wave strategy showed that we should renovate around 35 million building units by 2030, so to double the current annual rate of renovation. And we need to carry on doing that beyond 2030 through to, to 2050 for climate uh, neutrality. This increased construction activity to fight climate change is a huge economic opportunity for construction. We estimate around 160,000 additional jobs in construction in the next decade through the renovation wave. It's also an opportunity for European industry to manufacture and install solar panels, heat pumps, smart energy management systems, energy storage, and the other technologies that go with uh, zero emission buildings. But at the same time, uh, construction and renovation needs to become more circular and resource efficient. Construction is responsible for around half of resources extracted, and it's the biggest single source of waste in the European Union. And this is why the scenarios for a transition pathway, which uh, the Commission has published for consultation during February 2022, addresses these things together. Now, high quality, high energy performance buildings need to be built to a high standard. The talent pool for construction is shrinking with aging workers retiring and young people being reluctant to consider construction as their career choice. The situation is compl complicated further by the challenges of adapting and upgrading existing skills. Our uh, consultation document on the transition pathway sets out a number of actions to address construction skills. This includes a promotion of European skills partnerships, a funding of initiatives like the Build Up Skills Initiative and also fostering cross border services. At the same time, though, uh, there's a lot that member states and the industry itself can do, for example, supporting upskilling and apprenticeships. We are following very closely the results of EU funded projects. Officers like myself in the Commission uh, receive regular updates on project results that are relevant to our policy area, but the projects themselves also need to make an effort to disseminate their results through a variety of channels, not only scientific papers, but also events and social media and infographics and videos and, and putting uh, complicated messages across in a way that is relevant to different target audiences, including uh, policymakers. Um, there are big commission events like the EU Industry Days, uh, the Research and Innovation Days, the EU Sustainable Energy Week, and these are, are really great places to debate policy relevant results from projects. Uh, then there are also web platforms like uh, the buildup.eu, uh, the Smart Cities Marketplace and the Circular Economy Stakeholder Platform, which can help to amplify uh, the messages coming from project results.